concept car. Uh, that you enjoyed the dinner and that you had a good night's sleep here because, yes, as I, as I said, we do have an exciting day ahead of us. I'm uh, Mikael Jakobsson. I am product and program manager for the 94X at SAP. Today, we are all here to test drive uh, the all new 94X, our entry into the fast growing premium crossover segment. It do reflect our brand values with its uh, progressive Scandinavian design and aircraft in inspired looks, uh, car-like handling, and responsible performance. The first cars will be at the US dealers here in June, and uh, globally and available at dealers from October this year. Um, we actually today, um, maybe a coincidence, maybe not, uh, do start the production uh, of the first custom orders. So today, we start the journey here going forward. The limited model 11 uh, volumes are all that is spoken for, and our excited uh, dealers are just waiting now to start behaving the ordering of the 12 cars instead then, since, since we actually are out of uh, cars already. The 9 4 uh, is a car that delivers on driving and design appeal in, le in equal measures. It is developed to live together with the other car that we launched last year, its sibling, the Saab 9.5. It shares design cues, the same driving characteristics, as well as many technologies. With us today, uh, we do have Peter, Peter Dorish. Uh, he is the vehicle chief engineer for both the 9.5 and the 9.4X. Uh, so if you have some tricky questions, uh, I would be happy if you ask Peter. Uh, all other questions I am happy to answer. Okay, so let's start and look at a little bit more on of the design of the car. <coughs> of course, we have incorporated and implemented all the Saab or um, core brand uh, design cues. Um, and we have, of course, some new design cues as well as some common with the Saab 95. If we start here in from the front with a three hole grid, uh, that's a very classical and traditional Saab design cue. Here, in the crossover interpretation, being more bold and prominent. The ice block headline design that you also recognize from the Saab 95, uh, with the signature lights in the bottom of, of, the, of the line itself. We have the wraparound feeling uh, of the windscreen. And we have also chosen to make the outside rear view mirrors black uh, to not disrupt that canopy feeling uh, that you get then about that uh, wraparound effect. Uh, on this car, uh, we have uh, the 20-inch turbine wheels as well, and also a, a design cue that is uh, one of Saab's uh, looking back then into the days of, of turbo and so on and so forth. On the side, uh, the uncluttered side, the very strong C-pillar, and uh, uh, the famous and our, in this case, chrome execution of the hockey stick here in the rear. And uh, on the 94X, we've also been able to, to use the height of the car and emphasize the hockey stick also here in the sheet method to really uh, mark that area in a good way. You can also see here in the wraparound feeling that we also have a deep tinted rear view wind, uh, windshields, uh, windows, uh, which also then adds to the wraparound feeling. A wraparound feeling that you also have in the rear. And that's also the sign cue that you will see on the 95 Sport coming. And up, then we also have the ice block design of the rear lamps and the visible tape pipe. And uh, yeah, I have to say myself, uh, real beauty. <laughs> okay, inside. Um, you need to see that this is a nine, uh, the 94X is a uh, saw. The driver focused uh, cockpit, which is arced around the driver, uh, the three clock main instrument with an aircraft style speedometer. And you will, I hope you will see that in, in the car when you are, are driving here today. The start button, where it should be, of course, in the saw, between the front seats. The joystick air vent controls. And um, to make it possible to get a comfortable driving position for people like me, uh, or maybe unless Marie, which is just a little bit shorter than I am. Uh, we do have a rack and tilt functionality of the car. Adjustable pedals, uh, of course, electrical control seats. 
and uh, adjustable five support as well. All done to be able to, as a driver, to focus on the real thing, to drive and to have fun. Um, although you might not see all the details here on this picture, this is a, the, the aero interior. You will have plenty of time today to enjoy that in, in the car. So, uh, But we do have a unique decor material, a unique steering wheel. Um, and yeah, the rest you will see better in the car. So I, I don't spend too much time talking about that. But a genuine Saab interior. Next page, uh, slide here. You can see then the base vehicle, 94X, <coughs> having a, a wood effect trim uh, instead of then of this graphite uh, in the aero. The interior is also available in three different room colors, jet black, a sharp gray, and the parchment. So that's also then an add-on on top of these decors and so on. Okay, um, the 94 x comes with all the features and technologies that you would expect of a car in the premium crossover segment. Let me just make some few examples. Uh, the drive sense, our adaptive chassis control system, and cross grid drive, our two systems that I will come back to a little bit later here. Uh, but for example, then the bike seen on Smart Beam, our sophisticated headlight, headlight uh, system, passive entry, keyless start, rear view cameras, state of the art infotainment, and panorama sunroof. The car have it all. The 94X is offered with uh, two different engines. Uh, the 265 horsepower, three liter naturally aspirated engine uh, in the base vehicle, available with front wheel drive or cross wheel drive. And uh, exclusively in the aero, we do have the 2.8 liter turbo engine with a 300 horsepower. Um, and that in the aero then comes down with the standard cross wheel drive and drive sound system. Uh, for product related uh, questions, you of course welcome to talk to me. Uh, again, not the tricky ones because they are to Peter mm -hmm. uh, or to John uh, in the end of the room here, or the back of the room. So John can also answer all the tricky questions. So please, uh, no, I just joking. <laughs> um, and John then is our local uh, US land park manager here in the US. So. Okay, uh, the 94X has a number of features to support an active lifestyle. Uh, there are, of course, and many ways to store things, and the very versatile in cabin storage with dual bin storages in the doors, in the glove box, in, in the different uh, storage, in the consoles, and so on and so forth. Uh, I hope you can have some time to look at that in the car when you're driving. In here, we have a flexible cargo uh, management system, which we call UA, which has a telescopic divider that makes it possible to, to store and secure load in front or back, or you can move it around in, in the trunk area there. Underfloor storage for your bags and at grocery, for those of you that go shopping. Uh, cargo dividers in different ways. A programmable power tailgate, a reclining rear seat uh, with a 64 display, ski hatch, um, crossbars, and a bike holder, and so on and so forth there. Uh, a lot of features and, and uh, offers that yeah, support an active lifestyle that all of us, of course, have. Okay. Uh, in regards to safety, the 94X is engineered to be a top performer in consumer and uh, uh, consumer tests and surveys. It is developed uh, based on our real-life safety philosophy um, for real-life crash situations with robust design uh, solutions and to manage impact variations. And what that means is that uh, the car is designed to not only perform well in different crash tests, but more importantly, uh, out in real life, out on the roads, where it really, really counts. And to tell you more about the safety and all these really nice solutions that we incorporated into this car, we do have Stefan with us today. Stefan Olsen is uh, our safety engineer. Uh, actually was part of the development of the first Saab active head design system back in the 1990s. Uh, development and effort still to this day is referenced uh, within the industry as uh, uh, comparison to, to, to the actual today's whiplash uh, systems and so on and so forth. And in the 9 x we have the third generation then of SAR, the active head design system. 
<coughs> the 94X has a very uh, strong body structure. Uh, that is, of course, key to achieve the top safety that the car delivers, but also a very important foundation for the amazing handling characteristics that the car offers. And since driving is the focus of the day, uh, I would like to spend some minutes here to talk about some of the, the features and, and technical highlights here. The 94X, uh, which you know, you will drive the 94X, but even at the air execution, uh, that you will be driving here today, is equipped with DriveSense, our adaptive real-time uh, damping system with uh, variable effort steering. And it allows you to adjust the agility and the performance of the car uh, with a simple twist of a knob. So between the, or beside the gear shifter, you have a knob where you can choose the different uh, driving modes. Um, the course also features soft cross-wheel drive, our um, all-wheel drive system with the standard ELSD, the electronically controlled limited chip differentials. And it is one of the most advanced systems uh, available, and it's developed together with uh, the Swedish all-wheel drive uh, specialist and Haldex. Both of these systems are fully integrated into the chassis control systems. So uh, in regards to braking, stability, and traction control, all these systems are working together to assist, assist each other rather than to <coughs> compensate for each other. And that is one key element to achieving the outstanding driving characteristics in this car as well, in addition to the body structure. So, uh, a few words about some of these features. Uh, preemptive, uh, that means that um, you don't need to have a wheel sweep in the front before you start moving torque to the rear. And that's a very important uh, bonus which we will come to very soon here. Active on demand means that we seamlessly done uh, transfer the torque when needed. And that to also reduce um, fuel consumption by cruising, for example. And what we do is that we uh, adjust the torque between front and rear um, to match the dynamic, the, the dynamic axle load, and by that, uh, maximizing down the uh, traction. But um, <coughs> the drive sense on the, the cross wheel drive system also uh, supports the driving experience and safety by improving stability and responsiveness of the car. For instance, or <coughs> during an overtake situation, or as we will learn here today, uh, through curves, because we will have many, many, many curves today to pass, and uh, there you can really experience how the system works together, and if you're doing it right, so to speak, then the, these systems help you to really drive uh, faster, or maybe you shouldn't drive too fast, but it supports you and get that additional fun uh, experience when you are driving. This by then changing and shifting torque from to the rear, and also this between the rear wheels with the ELSD. Uh, that again, then without any wheel sweep in the front. Um, so by using then the steering wheel angle and the accelerator position, we then can add on to the axle load distribution, also then a torque to the rear wheels to support the driving experience. <coughs> and for all those tricky questions, I have another friend. <laughs> <laughs> we care. <can't Yeah>. <laughs> Pair Jonsson. Uh, and uh, Pair is an OEB dynamics engineer. And uh, Pair is responsible for the uh, chassis performance here of the 94X. Okay, uh, what will we be driving? Uh, I said that before uh, 94X Aeros with a three. Uh, 2.8 liter turbo, a V6 of uh, 300 horsepower and 400 newton meters, a six speed automatic gearbox, standard cross wheel drive with ELSD and drive sense, and then uh, navigation and, and recent entertainment systems and so on and so forth. Where will we be driving? Uh, you will get the chance here to explore the potentials of the car uh, along a, a, route, a route here today, which is 165 miles, and we will have a driving time, active driving for approximately three hours and 20 minutes. So plenty of time to, to learn the vehicle, we hope. Uh, and we will do that uh, uh, starting off, uh, leaving 
Washington on highways to get you to familiarize, familiarize yourself with the vehicle. And then we start driving on some nice winding uh, countryside roads here outside Washington. And we will be driving towards a uh, winery, which is called Swedenborg. Uh, out of a coincidence, uh, we, we find this place. Um, I don't know if you uh, noticed that yesterday, but the wine we had to the dinner was actually from Swedenborg. Um, and uh, there we will have the first stop, and then the driver swap down at Swedenborg. The next leg will take us to the lunch at Magnolia at the Mills. So that's another really nice winding roads up and down. Uh, and as I said, I'm heading up at Magnolia at the Mills, and there we will have lunch. At both of these locations, we will be available. And uh, as a spokesperson, and you can ask them all those questions you had, uh, kind of summarize them up during the dry there. Um, after lunch, we will go back here to the to Ritz Carlton, and uh, we will go down, uh, more or less straight back here, uh, so that you don't miss your flights back home. Um, doing that, uh, I think what we also will do then, if you take the next page, uh, we will follow uh, roadblocks. Uh, the first two stages are to follow the roadblocks. Uh, if you do um, uh, get lost, we have also programmed on the navigation system so that you can take it directly down to, to the stop at Swedenborg or the Magnolia Mills. And what you do is there is a button on the face plate that says test. You push that in the display in the lower left corner. It will be then uh, push buttons to to, to the Swedenborg, Magnolia, and so on and so forth. So if for some reason you are lost, uh, the car can help you. If you have um, um, other problems, we also have assistance for which I will show you very soon. Of course, uh, obey the traffic rules and, and all that, uh, and, and, uh, and drive safely uh, for all of us, for the sake of all of us, and, and, and of course our dear friends out in the world as well. Okay, uh, breakdown. If something happens or if you are lost, any questions, uh, please call the roadside assistance number, which is part of the roadbook as well. Uh, then we will be there to, to help you and support you. Um, the cars are also equipped with OnStar, so if something bad happens and you are actually involved in a crash, uh, the car will automatically call OnStar and, and trigger that to sort of become a chain of, uh, of actions as well. Uh, but then, yeah, our roadside assistance number is of course and the normal number to call us here. Okay, um, with that said, I think it's time to go outside and uh, enjoy the drive.